all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and in this video we're going to talk about the style manager so in the previous video we look at like how we can add the component type and the model and other definitions we look at it but in this video we're going to be changing the style of the models like i suppose you have a, a component and you want some specific styles into that so you can just assign the property to that component so it will not load other properties but if you have to add extra properties in your custom style like into global style so you can do that too so we're going to be looking at all the properties sectors like sector how we can create the sector and then property inside of it also we're going to be listening the events like if you have some uh, style property being changed and then you want to listen those like what property got changed or something so you can listen those into the editor event okay so all those things so let's get started let's look at this as you can see on my screens in the studio editor we already see the global style so global styles like you can change like how you can change the styling how you can create the global styles and all so you can define everything over here so it's an initialization global style defaults so you what you have to do go over here editor dot on ready you have to run a command is a layout toggle and then it will create one pan for you and in that pan you can just add the styling so it will run one command layout toggle even you can configure this on the button click as well like if you want to click on somewhere and then want to get the global style on the screen so you can get it on but this is opening on the editor when the editor get initialized so that time it's opening so editor dot run command is to do your layout toggle so you can just uh, run this one and then and you get the global style on the screen and then you have some place like absolute position right and all those things so you have to define like where you want to place this uh, global style pan so whether on the right side and that side so this is the css you have to define okay now it comes to what is styling you want to run inside the global style so that this is what you have to define the object like global styles and inside that you can create your custom properties you don't need like create extra property there's a one trick like this global style is going to be working on the select basis so let's suppose you have selector one selector two selector three like h1 h2 h3 so you have to define the selector like for which selector this style is defined so it will only apply on that selector but if you select another component so it's not going to be applying on that even you select somewhere else but uh, if you change the styling into the global styles it automatically going to be applying to that one only okay so let's suppose if i show you on my screen so over here you see the new project over here let me just reload the page so you see this is global style coming and you see this is the new project written if i change it to the button if i click to a button and then try to change the size of it so even you can see it still is changing the size of the h1 not changing the size of the button okay so that's the kind of thing so you have to keep in mind but you can do one thing you can uh, define multiple style properties over here and define their selector so they can whatever the selector property you want to change so you can just change it uh, that one only you have to uh, define like h1 color h1 size for same like button color button size and all those things you can do that as well so you have to be careful about one thing over here so let's suppose this is the, the, this button okay so your styling like whenever you are making the global style or initializing the global style over here like the properties so your id this id should be having the element name okay so the button if it's a h1 so h1 should be there if it's a button button should be there if it's an input so input should be there if you don't have like element type into the id so that and it's not going to work it's it's not going to be changing their style for you so let's suppose if you remove it from here even you have selector added over here this is what i just find out but it should not be working like this because you already have a selector so it should be working upon the selector so maybe there is a bug so if i refresh the page and then i try to change it so it's not changing see it's not changing so it should be working on the selector basis not on the id or something the id you are defining to this element okay that the styling part not the id you are defining so now I if i change it back like this so it's going to be working okay so now it's working okay so that's how you can assign the global style but uh, our motto is like you can assign the global style as many as uh, style properties and all everything is defined properly over here how you can add the property and the meaning of the id my rule id so you have to unique identifier for the style rule so you have to apply the rule id like this and also it is written over here like if selector so the css selector to which style will be applied on but it's not working from the selector so if even if you remove the selector from here uh, still it's still working fine so maybe 
there's a bug over here into the grape chaser studio editor or no no so i cannot uh, comment on that but yeah it's working like this when i'm applying on this this one okay anyway uh, so there are all the things are defined properly over here so you can go through with that like what is the meaning of what property type like element type and all those things so you can define properly also you if you want to make a select high so you can define type of selection and then you can just put the options over here so it's going to be working for you so you need to define like what kind of input box you want okay so everything you have to define now what we have to look at we have to look at the style manager okay so like let's suppose grapes js dot okay over here we have to look at this style manager how it works so this part we have to look at it over here in this one if you remove the style select one style so we have to look at this one so let's suppose layout layout is added size is added space is added or position is added so how can i add my own sector over here and then show it on the screen so let's do that okay so i have the editor instance okay let me just uh, check one thing okay so i have the editor instance add style so i already created one function if i go over here in this function so i have this one i'm listening one event like whenever you change any property so there's going to be finding this event but i have to add a sector so what i can do editor dot file manager dot add sectors dot add and then i can add a sector called id equals to id equals to like new sector and then name equals to new and then i can just give a properties you can apply like weight comma display like this okay so you can uh, add many bro as many as property and it should be added it should be working okay so let me just uh, reload the page hard reload the page i remove the global style from here select one element and you see the new sector is coming over here into the list and even i open it so i got the width over here i can change the width of it okay so i can just make it zero okay it doesn't matter all right and also i have a block element so let me just let me move myself sorry so you see in line in line box flags all those things also you can add it so it's kind of pretty cool guys okay so it looks so good uh, i make it in line so it's coming in line okay sorry so you see in line property over here and this is for increasing the padding and margin over here so if you want to increase the, in the grape chaser studio padding margin so you can do that too okay so now if you see on my console over here i'm finding so many events and what events are coming what values are coming everything so this is the styling if you are changing over here so what is style is you are changing so let's suppose if i change the display okay let me move myself over here over here okay so if you see if i change the display let's suppose okay change to inline flags and now if i see so i change it to inline block okay so now you see i'm value is inline block from inline from where to i change where and the property like what i change so it's display type so this is the property value display okay so these details you can find it over here how this is coming this is coming from here the style property update so this is kind of one of the event you can listen when you are changing anything into the grape chairs and then you can do whatever you want to do with that okay so let me just uh, recall all those events over here so this is all the definition given over here like grape chairs in it and if you have to so we are not using this method in the grape chairs studio so it doesn't gonna work like this so you have to skip this part but if you want to understand how the things you can manually customize so you have to customization so you have to look at somewhere over here okay so you see my plugin and inside the plugin now you can do that so add built in this gonna work other things these these things gonna or you add vector so these things kind of work so you can use these things to customize like you you cannot do anything on the configuration side out of the configuration you can do whatever you want to you can change the whole studio layout if you want to so you can change everything over here so that's that's the one thing okay so let me just show you so this is the style property update we can we are i'm listening right now and that's where it is coming from but main thing is that if you want to understand about the style manager properly you have to come over here and all the functions and everything is written over here okay so this is the style manager and this is for initialization again and this is the all the events you can listen in the style manager okay style target style update style remove property remove property add if you add the new property to the element style sector update like if you are doing some update into the sector sector remove sector right so all those things are written over here you if you want to initialize so you can do that too okay get config at sector so get config if you want to get the configuration object of the style manager you can get all the details inside this okay so let's suppose if you go over here and then do editor dot style manager dot get config 
and then you're gonna get all the styles over here slide. so see sectors how many sectors are there there are eight sectors okay we're gonna read the name of the sectors the outside space Jesus effects all those sectors are over here so seven sectors eight sectors okay all right so these are the eight sectors over here so it's not counting my one I don't know why but uh, <laughs> it should count the my one as well because I added it oh maybe it's not default sector so that's why it's not counting okay and uh, and all the sectors is going to be having their style properties so you see all the properties are defined inside that so the, you got the all config over here if you want to read it and you want to customize it so you can do that too okay so this is the config part and then go to over here the add sector add sector if you want to add like one new sector so one of the things i've shown you already like over here so you can add the sector like this on another thing if you want to add a sector so like you can do editor dot file manager dot add sector like this and then you can pass the configuration over here okay so you have to pass the configuration like this the way it is written properties open like open true and if you want to keep it by default open so you can do the open true or the name and then my sector like the id gonna be over here okay so just put it new to comma name uh, new to comma open equals to false and properties equals to i'm gonna have margin okay let's see if works or not okay i go to properties come back again so you the new property margin i got the margin whoa so okay all the margin top and wedding so everything is over here so this is how you can add the things if you want it and uh, there are much more things that you can explore over here so let's go to other parts so it's pretty simple you went through this video so i hope you can understand the rest of the other things too so you can just see get config add sector get sector if you want to get the detail of the sectors and then get sectors like if you want to get multiple sectors all the sectors at the time in the style manager you can get all the sectors over here add property if you want to add single property like uh, width height or something like that get property if you want to get the property inside the sector so you can just assign the sector and get the property like this add property which sector you want to add the property you can add the property like this get property get properties if you want to get all the properties of the sector so you can get like this remove property like removing the property from a sector select so this is about the selecting a css property side the editor so let's suppose if you have any element and then you want to select a css property programmatically so you can use this function and then also get selected like you can if you want to get the selected one which are the selected right now so you can get the selected one so this one you will get the last selected and then is this one you will get all the selected element of the style manager so that's how you can use it for like changing the style and behavior programmatically if you want to change the styling of something if you don't want to like you can just do it manually from the screen okay selected parents if you want to get the parent of the styling like get selected parent get parent rule of the last selected target so the target is your kind of element and then if you want to get the parent last selected parent element of it so you can get the parent of it okay so there are so many different different function over here that you can use and add type if you want to add the custom style property by yourself like like we add the component so the same way you can get the you can add the custom style property into the editor and then uh, update this style property like apply that or inject this style property on the element so you can do that too so this is the whole code written over here so you can use it uh, to apply this is very important like let's suppose people have to update some different style property like let's suppose they want to have a grid grid kind of uh, property as well like right now there is a layout so you can change the display flex and all those things but if you want to create your own custom style and then apply the css on that so different kind of css so you can use this kind of function and then you can listen though whenever it changes and then and then apply that css directly on that element so you see the it's applying over here so event.target update style so update style will go over here and then query selector dot value is something like this and then this is going to be style updated over here so that's how you can do it okay so it will fire the event whenever something changes it will come to over here then it will calling this function and then this function will execute update style and this function will come over here value and the partial the elements and then after that you can update the style all right so that's how you can do it yeah so that's it i think from this video and uh, let me know if you guys have any question about regarding this style it's pretty simple and straightforward no nothing to do too much about this it's just depend on how you want your styling how normalized you want your styling part and all those things so you can do it easily by yourself okay so 
that's it from this video thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video